Hello everyone, we are back playing Potential Unleashed. This is the Ink Black Cherry Blossom deck, or based on at least. Find ourselves up against Andy. And the opening hand is actually good because it has lots of ice. It doesn't have economy or any dangerous assets or things like that just yet, but it has some things to keep them honest at the very, very least. Lotus Field will be great on a remote. Uh, so I'm actually pretty chuffed with all of this, I think. Would like economy, but can't have it all. Just the future perfect in hand as well. And it's unlikely to... Unlikely to pressure HQ anytime soon. This first turn you'd imagine would be set up, especially with them keeping their hand. So yep, dirty laundry and archives. Presumably we'll see security testing, Temujin, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, they're just going to try and take money off it, which is kind of wise. But no career fair or anything like that come with it. Mm. So they're going to bin a couple of cards. Political operative. That's an interesting trash, unless they know the deck that we're playing. And security testing as well. Not sure Not sure about that opening turn. I think maybe even leave to move until the next turn. Because security testing, and maybe one of these other ones, could have been useful. Um, as it is, we're going to... Sticky Gore, I think, in front of Archives. And we'll pop down the Bioethics. Maybe we'll get a pip, maybe not. But at least we'll kind of test their willingness to run face down cards. And let's see what the story is. Leela. And Black Orchestra. Right, was not expecting that. Especially not from hand. Uh, that will deal with our various bits and pieces. But it's not cheap. So three credits is going to take down our Yagoras. I'm okay with that. So we'll get our bioethics up and running. We get to take one from hand, which is great, and the siphon as well. So that is absolutely fantastic for us. Shock as well. I think we stick it down and see what they're going to do. And... House of Knives could be tricky to score. Especially against Leela. We may just we may have to just bite the bullet and stick something in front of HQ. Maybe install it and see. So their willingness or at least our willingness to stick things down is working out pretty well for us. There goes employee strike and rumor mill, both of which are really good hits for us. Fetal, not so great. I think when we want to go for this, we just have to ice up. So let's put this on HQ at the very least and just take two. So we're going to very much slow roll this, but I think it's what has to be done at the moment at least. Three agendas in hand as well. It's getting a little dice here. But here's some money for us as well. So let's ice server 2, even though it is a shock, which they know about. And we could put down Jackson. See if they're willing to run ice with anything down. Uh, this will cost them 3 as well, so Lotus Field and Quandary are kind of the same thing at this stage. But one is much more expensive for us to raise. And let's just take money. Special order of a paperclip, and they are going to install it. So they're getting this all set up, but no Sentry Breaker yet. Bioethics again. Draw, hedge fund. Let's, uh, let's jam this out there and see. I think we need to capitalize while they don't have a Sentry Breaker down. Hopefully we'll find a hostile soon as well. Femme, good hit. Um, so we can draw, we can install pad, we can install house and knives. That's pretty good actually. Um, let's put it out there and see what happens. So inside job would be very unfortunate. <laughs> Siphon isn't great either. Especially as it's going to be quite cheap for them to get through here. 
well, not cheap, but not expensive for sure. At least vanilla is free to res. It only costs them the one, but we do what we must. I mean, we still have enough to res the Komainu or the Lotus Field. It's kind of our pick. And we still have enough for R&D and Archives as well, which is quite funny. Yep, let's make them spend three. Making this less of a valuable run. And they're going to get hit by shock as well. Hitting Temujin and Sneak to Beta. Not bad. So we could get the knives out the door. We can trash this as well. And we can put down a pad. So a lot we can do. I don't want them taking House of Knives on us. Um, but I don't want them getting... Let's see, they're going to spend three to net four. So at the moment it's not actually that bad to leave this. If we do this, we're going to lose... We're going to get this back to hand, probably. Maybe just install pad. And money up. Could be inviting trouble. In fact, we probably should have gone for a second install as well, just so... Because we're, we're going to end up in the same situation where we're going to have to trash something when we go to score this. So, possibly not the wisest decision ever. And yeah, networking. Well, we don't have tag punishment aside from trashing Temujin, but as I say, it's not the most tempting prospect at the moment. Could use Neural, which I kind of like. Could put Jackson down. There's stuff we want to get back, so yeah, I think this is okay. Ha, we hit a Desperado and another Special Order, so we're keeping them off the Sentry Breaker for the moment. And we'll get Jackson down and just take a credit. Which, you know, it leaves us in still a dicey spot, but could be a lot worse. Earthrise comes down. So, Breaker Bay, good long term. Uh, at the moment, not all that necessary. So when we get our hostile, that it'll be really good. Things unfortunately coming a little out of order on us. But we can make it work. So you got to come back to hand, which is no surprise, but at least they can't run and then bounce one of these. Worst comes to worst, they'll bounce Jackson, which is fine. Here they could put on some R&D pressure. Yeah, I'm going to make some money. Thankfully they don't uh, hit with this as well. Unfortunately, we don't run our own currents as well to counteract that, so there will be some pain coming soon for us. Future Perfect could be worth four points, which is just an absolute disaster. Uh, DNA Tracker could be good, but at the moment we can't really afford it. So I think for the moment we just uh, put this on R&D again and credit up. I don't want to lose this too soon. Could overdraw. Mm. Or could just use this Jackson that's on the table to get back money. I think we draw two and see if we can get anything good. Um, bioethics is good. Put that down in a new remote. Mm. Not too excited about that, but... We'll see what happens there. Hmm. Coming for the siphon. That's all right. Let's 
So we can res this so it's not full value. I would have preferred if we had the hostile as well, but they are unwilling to show up at the moment. I think instead we just take two chips, hit a special order, sure gamble. Maybe good, maybe not so great. Um, suppose we'll res this even though it means they know exactly where they need to run. But that's the next three clicks counted for now is they have to run this and clear the two tags. And again, doing this all without Desperado, so. Not making the money that they would have liked. Hmm. We've come at not a great time. Um, I think we're just money up. We might have to pitch the DNA tracker here, or could pitch House of Knives. And we could shuffle back a couple. Mm, no, I think we get rid of this at the moment. Uh, next time we can celebrity gift, and then we can shuffle things back. I think that's uh, the best thing for us to do. Criminal not stuck for money these days. Like we're coming in. Hmm, that's not great. So we will likely lose quite a lot here. Could be worth three, four points of them. Ouch. Um let's go for the chip. We hit the networking, which is alright, career fair. Hmm. Things that aren't that exciting. We're going to shuffle back. Um, future perfect. <laughs> gamble, gamble. Gamble bioethics, I think. New world, maybe the better idea. Hmm. Would have preferred they hit the fetal. Although it would be worth a lot more to them. Okay, so they're going to hit everything, apparently. So that wasn't great. <laughs> Four points to one. And we fed some good stuff. Earthrise, they probably weren't going to use it this late stage. Inside job is all right. But I mean, they could win it here. Um, I suppose we celebrity gift here. Nothing exciting in hand. Which unfortunately means, you know, Go R and D. Um, Sarugi, I think, is a good one on R and D. Actually, we can put the Yagora up top. They don't have to break it on the scoring server, which isn't ideal, but it might work out okay for us. So we're getting our money sorted. I would, um, I would like to see. Hostile infrastructures at any point that would be quite useful. Maybe time to get the Jackson down, get the bioethics out, get the neural. Maybe even the DNA tracker again. There's Desperado at long last. So a shock. They've been pretty willing to run everything that we've thrown out, so... I think we try and fish them in here. At the very worst, we get stuff rezzed. Hmm. <laughs> nice. And let's chip them and see if they still want to go. We don't actually run snares in this deck. And they're going to go for it. It's times like this I really wish we were running snares. They get a point. Wow, this would have been a really good card for them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 
So they just about pull it out. Oh, God. <laughs> they just about get there before dying. And they had the last two cards in hand just to be able to take the fetal AI. Uh, so unfortunate. If only we were running snares. Did manage to hit them with a shock. Then the fetal. But just not enough. Good game, though. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Less of a slog, at least, than the last one. Our hostiles were hiding up towards the bottom, as was Sweeps Week. So that's unfortunate. Unfortunate to draw order at times, but a good game nonetheless. Uh, thank you for watching.